Alright, we're just outside the IG-88 instance. Uh, yep, that's it down there. Again, the post-commentary, so I'm not exactly in control of what my character's doing. That's the instance, yes. There's a Rebel Sergeant Major over there for some reason. There's all those security droids. They're actually uh, Taiwanese security elite protectors. If you remember back to uh, to the Endor part, well, that's what the Taiwanese are, are about. Like, they're helping out IG-88 or something. Yeah, this is uh, a camp. It's a rebel camp. Uh, you might have seen something on Mustafar. Yes, that's Baldy again. He's helping us out one more time. If you remember back to the Mustafar for the Kubaza Beetle Caverns, there was like a there was a camp just outside the caverns, and this this is what that is. Uh, you know, you can take a shuttle port there. It has like all these like cool little things. There's a little little shisa. You smoke some pot. Yeah, smoke some shisa. No, I, I don't condone the smoking of drugs of any kind. Yeah, it's a camp, and pretty soon our squad should be here. Yep. And this is us, just about ready to go in the instance. We cleared out all the droids. And there's like a, like a bug where you can, if you f use your ship, you can fly over that little barrier. It's kind of funny. I'll help you, Baldy. I think he's AFK right now. Yeah, like the Tawny or for like uh, the prerequisite quests that used to be, they used to have to do for these. But since you don't have to do these anymore, you know. Let's all go into the instance. Gotta use this uh, retinal scanner. Not entirely sure why there's a retinal scanner for a uh, droid facility that's used entirely by droids and no organic beings whatsoever. I don't know, explain that one to me. And here's the inside of the instance. It's this like a little droid factory-ish area. I think I was uh, trying to. Yeah, I noticed that uh, Na Naveen had like uh, a scouter-looking thing o over his eye. Thought that was pretty cool. I was trying to. I was trying to stand next to him to like get a get a picture. He's like, "No, f that man. He runs away." Hey Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! Sorry. It's, uh, it's mandatory that whenever a scouter is seen, you have to make that joke. I think we're all just, uh, we're all just waiting around for Baldi. Yep, there's, a uh, there's Aowit again, just you're run running around like he always does. Yep, just setting up. Everyone's setting up, everyone's just kind of waiting around for Baldi. Yeah, there's there's Eowyn making a joke, saying that uh, all of the all of the non tanks should protect the doors, as in me. We 
which, uh, oddly enough, I actually did on Rook <laughs> Like, I would actually protect the door as a smuggler, which generally isn't that great of an idea. Yeah, I'm just, like, wondering where the heck Baldi is. I think he's just AFK. There's that mouse droid, uh, you activate that mouse droid when you want to initiate the instance. Oh, there's me just, uh, snore dancing around, waiting for Baldi. Oh yeah, work it, crunch bar, work it, work it. I actually didn't notice that, uh, that crane over there. How do you guys forget? I got Mando Cloak, dude. Hey, welcome back. I was I was fearful that you got dominated. Nah, dude, you know I got Mando Cloak. Take all these guys on. Um, I fictionally have a cloak within my own mind. Yeah, commandos don't have a cloak. But oddly enough, dude, it works, I'm telling you. There we go. At this point, Baldi finally manages to get inside the instance. Dance with me, Baldi. You know you want to. Everyone wants to dance with the crunch bar. He's an extremely sexy man. If you're, if you're wondering what those like war war noises are, that's just the uh, that's just the officer buffs just going off. Officers tend to have like these macros that automatically cycle through their buffs, so that they don't have to do that manually. And it generally works pretty well. Domination, no domination. You guys are waiting for me, weren't you? Terrible. Yes, we were body. It was awful. It's horrible. There we go. I think I think you Ooh, actually looks like we're ready to go. We got this. We got this. Yeah, we got this. I think you actually kick the mouse droid, and then the mouse droid like runs away. Pretty soon, IG-88 should be showing up. This factory is off limits. Leave at once or face the consequences. Yep, and that's IG-88 right there. It's got like a missile arm. Oh god, things are exploding. And now these doors, these, uh, these droids start popping up. They're like suicide droids. They just like run to a random person and they explode. Concussion waves. Music to my sensors. I guess a lot of parallels can be made between uh between IG eighty eight and HK forty seven. He's saying the same thing again. Run! Run! Oh. Luckily they don't... I made so many bomb droids, but I haven't tested them much. Keep moving to test their servos. Yeah, luckily the bomb droids don't tend not to do that much damage. Even though large explosions seem to have not deterred you from continuing. A couple of shielded droidicas should. And these four droidicas show up. These four boss droidicas, they're not that hard to take down. He just focuses them down one by one. I just like picked a random droidica. But, you know, luckily enough, 
My entire group is behind me, pretty much. There's all sorts of debuffs being applied to this poor Droidica. There we go. I'll help you, Logan. Get out of my way, you too. Jeez. So rude. And this Nordica just completely disintegrates. Just about instantly. And Eowyn already has that one. Good job. And then these two huge battle droids come out. Like they're incinerator droids. Oh. Uh, yeah, IG-88 is saying something about your smoldered remains. Yeah, the gimmick with these guys is, is that they... Yeah. The, the gimmick with these guys is that, like, they slowly spin around, and, like, if you're standing in front of them, you take fire damage, but also they fire off these, like, rockets from their backpacks, and that's what those huge targets on the ground are for, to, like, show you that, you know, don't stand there, there's a rocket about to hit you. So you have to take one out, and then the other. Fortunately, a couple of our group members are just, you know, dropping like flies. Bar managed to stay alive though. Damn it, dude. I should have manned a stasis that droid. That Hold on, people. Droid. Hold your horses. Let's uh let's let them get back in here before we kill this thing. Yeah, at this point we're just kinda like running around. Since the since this oh, pattern is so predictable. Myself, dude. Not firing at all. Since this myself, since this pattern is so predictable, myself. you know, we can just like run around them and stay relatively safe. While the rest of our group, you know, comes around and rejoins the instance. But after a while, uh, this happens. The droid... That is correct, sir. He is officially bugged. Yes. That's Galaxy. Yep. He, uh, he no longer shoots fire. And he no longer shoots missiles. So he is completely harmless now. That's what happens when you, like, when you just run around him for a couple minutes. And then he just kind of spins around, doing absolutely nothing. So I figured, you know, I'd just, you know, mess around with a few, uh, a few emotes towards the battle droid. Why not? And I'm not sure if the other people were getting rebuffed or what was going on. Because they were taking longer than they should have. Probably. Just uh, we just kind of wait around. This is actually a really quick instance, but uh, you know, this waiting around part really extended that by a whole lot, unfortunately. Oh well, yeah, at this point, anyone just kind of like starts crawling around. So I was like, yeah, cloak him. Solid Snake! Metal Gear! See, I got my Jedi Cloaks going on here, body. I think uh, Baldy starts sharing words of wisdom pretty soon. Alright, do I need to cloak? 
Oh, we're still chilling, dude. And anyway, dude, I mean, I know you like to pass knowledge on to people. Yeah, here you go. Why don't you tell your peeps um, about cloaking? Look, I'm actually cloaked right now. Wow, thanks. Uh... <laughs> yeah, right on. Good looking out. Yeah, it says something about but no, I him actually having a Mando anyway, cloak now. Um, no, but seriously, dude. If you're not there, they can't kill you. Whoa. Well, he just blew my mind right there. If you're not there, they can't kill you. So visualize that in your mind always when you're running past, like, a group of warlords or something. If you're not there, they can't kill you. Words of wisdom. And that's cloaking, dude. Every team can do it, dude. Dominated EK solo on my traitor. Traitor cloaking. I believe it. I believe it. He's saying he, he dominated XR Coon with his traitor. So we uh, got tired of waiting for Logan, and we just blew up the, the last droid. And now we finally start killing IG-88. Once he turns hostile, that is. Hey, just remember, dude, I don't use Giddy. Sentence there at all. This is a fairly straightforward Giddy? fight. Giddy. I'm not entirely sure what they're uh, talking about. Rather not say it again. Yeah, this is a fairly straightforward fight. You just you know kind of smack on him until he dies. There's a little bit of a trick that will be shown off pretty soon, I think, depending on how fast this guy dies. Yep, and then the shield goes up, and you can't you can't hurt him while the shield is up. So you have to take out these supporting droidicos before his shield will go down. So these droidicos are somehow protecting him. Not entirely sure how, but they just are. I think his shield went down, but I ran over here to take over the take out this droidica just in case. But while I did that, they killed IG88. It's okay, guys. I got this. I got the droidica, guys. Yeah. What I tell you? And that was that was no problem at all. It was just kind of like prolonged by us. Waiting on group mates. So that was IG88. Probably the easiest of the heroics. That's my medic.